This little lizard was so miserable. In the 66 degrees Celsius heat, he wanted a drink of water to moisten his throat. Instead, it's down to the last drop of water. The little lizard stretches out his tongue to catch the water, which evaporates instantly. It caused him to shed three layers of skin straight away. This lizard is called Rango. Originally a pet owned by humans, he fantasized about being a city hero. When they were driving through the desert, his life was changed forever when his young master made an extreme drift. Rango was mercilessly thrown over 800 meters, and so, he became a stray. In the heat, the little umbrellas on the ground spontaneously combusted. Then there was a distant cry for help. Rango picks up the cup and looks at it. It was a pandolin that had also been in a car accident. Although his body had been cut in two, he was still alive. As they were talking, a truck approached, which instantly caught Rango in the fender of the rear wheel of the truck. Rango was then thrown by inertia into the form of a car. The man driving the car turned on the windscreen wipers, and Rango landed safely. The pangolin then told him, there is a town six kilometers west of the desert, where water is released every Wednesday. So Rango set off on a desert adventure. Suddenly, a low voice calls out to him. He is told to stay put in his disguise and not to move. Just then, an eagle hovers in the air. Now Rango panics. He took cover and began to disguise himself. It was going to pretend to be a cactus but unfortunately the thorns were a bit low. The eagle is about to attack. Rango rushes to the ground and disguises himself as a rock. Just like the toad. But he is so nervous that he keeps changing the color of his body. He's wearing a flowery shirt that stands out more than a traffic light. The eagle swoops in and scares Rango into a run. In a panic, he got into a can. It ended up trapping the eagle's head. When the eagle shakes it off, it finds Rango lounging in the glass bottle. The eagle was furious, grabbed the bottle, and flew straight into the air. With that, the eagle let go of the bottle, just in time to hit the toad on the ground. It stood up and cursed at Rango. Seeing the eagle coming again, the two rushed to run for their lives. The toad tried to get into the bottle to hide, but Rango ignored him. Just then, the bottle suddenly hit a rock and broke in half. The toad was laughing at the sight. But the next moment, he was captured by the eagle. And so Rango was saved. But as soon as he looks up, he's in the crosshairs of a gun. It was his kind. Beans. She tells Rango that the town last had water for three months. She had come out to look for water, but had found nothing. Then Rango hitched a ride with Beans to the town of Dirt. This is a very strange town. The villagers treat water like money. Everyone banked their water and withdrew it when they were dying of thirst. Even the children's school fees are paid with water. But lately, for some reason, it has been a long time since anyone has been saving water. Rango, a newcomer to the area, is learning to walk with the vultures. He then walks into the bar with a vulture stride. He finds the people in the bar to be vicious. Rango starts bragging about himself so he won't be bullied. He says he's killed many people. He could kill eight men with one bullet. The villagers in town had never seen the world before and were immediately taken in by his bluff. Unexpectedly, such an arrogant way of pretending attracted the town's bullies directly. As they spoke, flames erupted from Rango's mouth and set the bully's face ablaze. This angered the bully. He immediately pulled out his revolver and slapped it on the table, wanting to fight Rango to the death. Rango looked calm, but inside, he was panicking. The moment he pulled up his trousers, the bully turned around and ran away. Rango thought he was intimidated by his aura. He started to get cocky and didn't notice the eagle behind him. The people hiding in the house thought Rango was lecturing the eagle, but when he turns around, he sees the hungry eagle. Frightened, Rango rushed into the toilet. The eagle then flashed its sharp talons and instantly cut the toilet into three pieces. It was a very awkward situation. Rango began to run away frantically, dragging the paper roll with him. He then hid in the vending machine, but the eagle was able to get him out with a foul play. He could only continue his escape but was soon bitten by the eagle on the rope again. In the nick of time, Rango shot at the rope to break free, but the bullet opened the rope holding the water tower in place. The water tower instantly crushed the eagle. In this way, Rango was able to kill the eagle by mistake and became a hero to the people. The mayor himself presented the medal. He was appointed sheriff of the town. But when Rango left, the mayor had a strange look. He seemed to be planning something. It was time for the water release on Wednesday. Rango was given priority as sheriff to catch the water. But instead of water, the flow was mud. During their investigation, they found the body of the head of the water bank. Strangely enough, 
In a town with no water, he had drowned. That's when Rango noticed that the mayor's shoes were covered in wet mud. He instantly sensed something was wrong and decided to find out what was happening. But Rango's actions were immediately noticed by the mayor. To prevent him from ruining his plans, the mayor decided to eliminate this stumbling block. So he hired Rattlesnake, the number one killer in the West. At great expense, he's the best of the vipers. It's the one that has killed over 3,000 people with its mouth. He bared his sharp teeth and then spewed out a huge drink. I'm asking if you dare to drink it. This little lizard doesn't dare to drink it anyway. Rango was scared when confronted by a rattlesnake several times his size. Even when the rattlesnake puts a gun in his hand, he still wouldn't dare shoot. But rattlesnake doesn't do anything, and he exposes Rango's lies. He had made up all his heroic stories. Rango was unable to refute it. To the disappointed eyes of the villagers, he left the town of dirt in disarray. He lost his way and looked as if he had lost his soul. He crossed the road full of cars and then suddenly collapsed on the ground. When he wakes up the next day, Rango meets the pandolin in the desert. The pandolin tells him, this used to be a pool of water, but now it's all dried up. At this point, the plants next to it move. This meant that they had sensed a source of water. So Rango followed the moving plants. After crossing a high mountain, he sees a bustling city. Here the water spilled freely, there's a huge spout next to it, and the valve on the water pipe to the town is closed. Rango finally realizes that the mayor has taken control of the water, forcing the villagers to sell their land for water to build their business empire. Rango wanted to be a real hero, so he enlists the help of the Mole family. Meanwhile, on the other side of the river, Beans is stalked by a rattlesnake because she won't sell her land to the mayor. Just as he's about to kill her, Rango arrives just in time. He wants to fight Rattlesnake to the death. The rattlesnake is coiled around the water outlet, deliberately guided by Rango. When the clock struck 12, the prearranged moles opened the floodgates. The water gushed out and swept the rattlesnake straight up into the air. Immediately afterwards, another pair of moles riding bats strafed the rattlesnake. Before he knew it, Rango had his gun and was aiming for his vitals. Rango had no idea that the mayor had taken Beans hostage. Rango had no choice but to surrender his weapon. The two were then put in the water tank. Seeing that Rango was no longer a threat, the mayor turns to take Rango's gun again and prepares to kill the useless rattlesnake. Just then, Rango took a pre-hidden round out of his mouth. He pointed it at the glass and spat it out. The water instantly gushed out. The mayor was knocked to his feet by the water and rendered completely immobile. He was then dragged away by the rattlesnake. Peace was restored to the town. People no longer had to worry about water. Rango took his place as mayor and lived happily ever after with beans. This is the end of the film. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.